Should Megumi come back to JJK? This probably sounds like a weird question when it seems like everyone is just assuming he's going to come back, especially when the characters are actively trying to save him. But the question I don't see anyone asking is should he come back? Because Megumi is undoubtedly the single most popular character in JJK. So if this is mishandled in any way, then there's a serious possibility that this could ruin the ending of JJK. Now, as far as I see it, there's four scenarios in which Megumi is handled. But before I say anything else, if it isn't already abundantly clear, this video will contain major spoilers. Now, the first scenario, obviously, is that Megumi does come back to the story and for good. In this scenario, we're going to assume that regardless of what happens to Sukuna, the characters manage to save Megumi, return him to normal somehow, and he stays for the rest of the story. For each of these scenarios, we have to figure out if it's really worth it. And to do that, we have to look at a few things. First, what are the payoffs? Second, what's the risk? In other words, if this is mishandled, then what kind of effect will that have? And finally, what's the likelihood of this being mishandled? Because while there could be devastating consequences for this being poorly executed, there might not be a strong chance of that happening. So in this first scenario, the payoff should be pretty obvious. Just look at Gojo. Gojo's one of the most popular characters. When he came back, it was a huge deal, everyone was hype, and it led to one of the most hype moments in manga, never mind JJK. Plus, when Megumi was taken over, that was an equally big deal. So, just the simple fact that Megumi comes back will be huge. And if it's handled well and people like it, then people will eat up this ending. That much should be obvious. But now we have to consider the ugly side of this that nobody is really talking about. What if Megumi does come back, but it's done in a way that everyone hates? So for example, say it's an ass pull. Or say the way he comes back is fine, but he doesn't have his powers anymore, or he basically contributes nothing to the story, so that he might as well have never come back. Well, in this case, people are going to be pissed. Because if you bring Megumi back and people don't like how it's done, then it'll kind of hurt Tsukuna. And it could hurt the ending. And if Megumi comes back just to do nothing, that will hurt his character and only make everyone hate this ending. But now we have to ask, what are the odds of this being mishandled? Well, I already mentioned that just the fact of Megumi returning would be huge, so my assumption right now is that even in the worst case, I think it'll all balance out. Also, worth noting that when Sukuna left Yuji, Yuji seemed perfectly fine. So regardless of how they would bring him back, I have a feeling that Megumi would be fine as well in this scenario. So it really just comes down to Megumi contributing something. And considering Akutami gave one of the best fights to one of their least favorite characters, it's safe to assume they're going to write something in for Megumi. So that's scenario one. Now let's move on to scenario two. Actually, before I do that, make sure to like the video if you're enjoying it so far. It's the easiest way to support the channel, and it helps spread the video to other viewers like you. Now, in the second scenario, Megumi still comes back, but this time he ends up dying. In this scenario, we're going to assume that Megumi is saved from Sukuna at first, but then he is somehow killed. The key word is killed because that's going to be an important difference for these upcoming scenarios. So let's talk about the benefits of this scenario. If this is done well, I think this could be a great way to end Megumi's character. I don't know how they would do it other than Sukuna or Kenjaku killing Megumi for some reason, but regardless of how it's done, I think it could be a good way to put a tragic end to Megumi's character arc. But then you have to consider the downside to this. The downside would be that no matter how you do it, people are going to hate it. Even if it's done really well and people can defend it, the fact of the matter is that Akutami will have brought Megami back just to kill him off. And that sucks in reality just as much as it sucks on paper, whether you want it to or not. And when you get to the question of how likely is this to get mishandled, it's almost irrelevant. Like I just said, even if it's done well, people are going to hate that Megami was brought back just to get killed off. People might like the ending over time, but it's going to do some pretty major damage. So in this scenario, I think most people would agree that we should avoid this one entirely. That brings us to scenario three. In scenario three, Megami does not come back at all, period. In this scenario, we're going to assume that for whatever reason, Megami is never saved and he's never able to leave Sukuna's body. Even if we get some chapter like Gojo had where we see his final thoughts, Megami does not make it to the final chapters of JJK. Now, when I look at this scenario, 
I generally think it's effectively the same as the last one. If Megami doesn't come back, then the assumption would be that he's going to die. And if it's done well, then it could be a good way to put a tragic end to his character arc. But the difference here is that Megami isn't coming back just to die anyway. In this scenario, he's gone and never teased about it. So while people would be pissed that he doesn't come back, at least they wouldn't feel stupid. So now we have to ask ourselves, okay, well what are the odds that this one is mishandled? And in this case, I think this is actually a pretty safe option. I think people already recognize that Megami might not come back and that it's going to be hard to do this. I think the only way this could be mishandled is if it's the worst case and it's something stupid, like, I don't know, sorry guys, you ran out of time, or I don't know, like, you can only kill Sukuna if you kill Megami, something like that. But that's if that's the road Akutami wants to go down. Again, you're still killing off Megami and people are gonna be pissed. Except, what if he's not killed off per se? Which brings me to the last scenario. In scenario 4, Megami still dies, but he actually sacrifices himself. In this scenario, we're going to assume that Megami doesn't come back as Megami, but instead he regains control and sacrifices himself in order to stop Sukuna. So the immediate reaction to this would be, okay, that's insanely cool. Like, you have the best character sacrificing himself to stop the big bad. Not only would that be insanely cool, but it would also be a tragic ending. So in this scenario, you kind of get the best of both worlds. However, that's if it goes well. We have to think about how this could go poorly. And the more you think about it, the more you realize this one isn't as great as it sounds. Because if you think about it, right, Megami has been out of commission for a while. Compare this to Yuji, who right away was able to sort of battle with Tsukuna for control. Then you have Megami, who hasn't done anything. So if out of nowhere, after Gojo has died, and after however many other characters have died, Megami randomly gets control, even if it's to sacrifice himself, people are gonna be like, uh, so he can do it now, but not before. What you have here is a serious chance that this would be the result of either some kind of ass pull, or just the simple fact that it's going to be inconsistent with what's been going on for like 30 chapters. Chapters. So, when we think about how likely this is to be mishandled, the only way I see this going well is if the logic in this scenario is bulletproof. Otherwise, it's gonna seem kinda dumb despite how cool it would be. But now that brings us back to our original questions. Are we better off leaving Megami or bringing him back? And after looking at these four scenarios, in all honesty, it honestly seems like the safe choice is to just bring him back. Even if the logic isn't completely there, people love Megami, so they're gonna love having him back. If you bring him back just to kill him off, then everyone is gonna be pissed off no matter what. If you leave him the way he is, then it might not be so bad, but people are still gonna be pissed. The only caveat to this is of course scenario 4. While there would be a massive risk in this case, the payoff would be a win-win situation. But the risk is so massive that it's almost not even worth it. No matter how you look at it, Megami needs to come back in the end of Jujutsu Kaisen. He's the fan favorite character of the series and everyone wants to see him have some part in the final battle. If not, people are going to feel like we missed out on some pretty major potential for the series. And this is exactly why Megami needs to come back in the end of Jujutsu Kaisen. But now I'd like to hear what you think. Which scenario do you see happening? How do you think Megami will affect the end of JJK? Share your thoughts and see what everyone else has to say down in the comments. I'll pick my favorite and share it as comment of the week on my community tab. And if you'd like another discussion like this one, then check out my recent video on the art of JJK. In that video, I explore the four stages of JJK's artistic evolution. You can find that video in the playlist linked right here. Until then, thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.